Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. Hello to all of my subscribers, old and new. Queen of Cups then came out here in reverse a little bit now. What I was going to say was, let's see who we have a message for, but I guess it's our Queen of Cups. So Holy Spirit, can we start out with some oracle messages regarding my Queen of Cups? You could be a Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with the Queen of Cups. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio Feminine, or you could be dealing with one. Let's see, Holy Spirit, what do we need to know? What messages do we have for Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, please? And thank you. What are the messages? Let's turn this down real quick. Mm. Let's see. Love is Stronger Than Pride by Sade just came on. What are the messages for my Scorpios, my Cancers, and my Pisces, Holy Spirit, Queen of Cups energy? Let's do one more shuffle. What are the Oracle messages for them at this time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What are the Oracle messages? What are the oracle messages? I'm serious about this and us. What else, Holy Spirit? Jail. <clears throat> what else, Holy Spirit? Be grateful. Light up. And teach me how to love. So somebody want to bond with you, Queen of Cups. Someone want to take you seriously now. This person could have went to jail and that was a wake up call for them. They could be about to go to jail. They may be about to get out of jail. Married and came out here. What is up with this energy? Holy Spirit, can I get a card to clarify? I'm serious about this and us, please. And thank you. One card, please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Order my steps. Well, that was a card, all right. So whoever this is, Queen of Cups, they're asking God, I feel, to order their steps when it comes to this connection between the two of y'all. They want to take you seriously. They want to show you that they are serious about you. So they're asking the universe, the most high, to order their steps. Okay? That's for somebody. We're going to break it down like this, y'all. I hope that's okay with everybody. Let's. Can I get one card for jail, Holy Spirit? One card. It's not as good as yours. My God. What this? Woo-hoo. Okay, so somebody, I feel like somebody went to jail. I don't think they had to do no prison time, but they might have got arrested and had to go to jail for something. And... In that overnight, however long experience before they got bond, they got to thinking about who they chose to be with, to partner with, to be intimate with even. And they are realizing how divine 333 that you are. Whoever they was with, they ain't as, they ain't as good as you are, okay? That's what I get from this. They have some type of epiphany about who you are when they went to jail. Okay, that's for some of y'all. Let's hop to the next card. Be grateful, Holy Spirit. Can we get one card for be grateful, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, we got two. Clean up alcoholism and or drug abuse. So whoever this is, they could have went to jail. Okay. For drugs or alcohol. They could have got a DUI or something like that, I'm hearing. And it could have been worse than it was, I'm hearing. But they know it's time to clean up their act. They need to be grateful that it wasn't as bad as it was, I'm hearing. They are. I'm telling you, they had some kind of epiphany in jail. And it made them realize a lot of things, including who you were. And also that they need to clean up their life. Whatever this indulging, indulgement is, whether it's alcohol or drugs of some kind, they need to cut it out. They need to clean it up, okay? Let's get one for this teach me how to love. Holy Spirit, can I get one card 
for Teach Me How to Love, Please, and Thank You for my Queen of Cups. Energy. Energy. That is energy, okay? That's some real heavy energy to be in. To get to this point where you are asking someone to teach you how to love them. That means you're willing to compromise. You're willing to accept whatever stipulations that person has for whoever they choose to be with. You are willing to make the concessions. Okay? This may be very hard for this person for how hard it was for me to line these cards up this may be very difficult queen of cups for this person to get to this point but the sound that just came on is you dropped a bomb on me by the gap band when this motherfucker went to jail that a, a bomb got dropped on them 555 five, five. that low vibrational change they experienced it woke them the hell up about you whoever you are queen of cups okay when this person got out of jail, they couldn't wait to light up. I feel like this person, you may be a smoker. They may be a smoker. They want to smoke with you. They want to vibe with you. They want to connect with you. They want to talk to you. They want you to show them how to embody this energy that you're currently in, Queen of Cups. Just got a call, okay? So we're going to go to, I mean, they're they going to have to wait. Let's go to this next card. Holy Spirit, can we get one for light up, please? Holy Spirit, good witch. I'm trying to tell you, they want to be in this high vibrational good witch energy that you possess, Queen of Cups, okay? They are trying to vibe with you. You are a smoker, whoever I'm talking to. People may have tried to talk shit about you being a smoker. This, this person may have even, and they ask got an alcohol or drug addiction issue. Yet, they may have judged you for being a smoker. I'm hearing that. But now this person, I don't know. I don't feel like the drug that you use, i.e., that that green, I don't think that's what this person got caught up for. Okay? I'm going to say that. But now this person want to smoke with you. They want to vibe with you. They want to learn from you. They want to be in your energy. Okay? They serious about you. They know you the best thing smoking, okay? <laughs> they want to light you up, girl, okay? We going to hop to this married, though. Holy Spirit, can you clarify this married energy? Please and thank you. One card, one card, please and thank you. We got two. Every time I seem to say that, look, my hand is itching. Fuck your feelings. Mmm. Whoever this is, I think they are in a commitment in a marriage with somebody. But I feel like they have the funds, the abundance to do what they want. They don't depend on this other person for anything. I feel like they really don't even want to be in this connection. I feel like they possibly were in this connection at one point because of this other person's abundance and their stability. But whoever this is... They do what they want to do with this fuck your feelings here. Even though they are married, they move how they want to move. This person could gamble here with my hand is itching. They may feel like they're very lucky or abundant. They may feel like they're lucky because of what they went through with this jail experience here. I don't think this person got in trouble for no drugs. I don't know. Maybe they did. We gonna clarify. Let's stop. Let's stop here. But this person don't care about... I'm really picking up whoever this is to y'all. Queen of Cups, they married. They are married. But they, they don't... They have a very open relationship. I'm getting in here and here. It's more like a business arrangement, partnership type energy or something here. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what would you like for my Queen of Cups to know about this vibe we got out here thus far? Holy Spirit, what is the tarot message, please? And thank you. What is it that you would like for us to know? <clears throat> please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Messages. 
What are the messages from my Queen of Cups collective regarding this energy? Death, Scorpio, Queen of Wands, Devil. So you could be a Scorpio, okay? But I'm hearing that whoever this is, they are in a position where they can free themselves from a number of things, free themselves from this marriage, free themselves from this toxicity, this drug and alcohol abuse that they were experiencing. They, they are in this energy because they realize who you are. They realize that you are their ideal con counterpart that you are the person that they are being guided and directed towards, okay? There, there is some kind of ending that's about to happen in this person's connection. For some reason, I feel like this, this karmic behavior they were in was because of, the, because of this marriage they were in. I'm just keep it real. They felt like they were trapped somehow up until they received some type of financial blessing. And when they got that financial blessing, whoever this is to you, Queen of Cups, they out of there. It's like they don't give a fuck no more. They're going to do what they want to do. And I'm picking up that they're about to leave this partnership here. You are this good witch, Queen of Wands energy. Okay. No, you ain't coming out as no Queen of Cups because you embody much more than a Queen of Cups. A Queen of Wands is very beautiful, very eclectic, unique, you know, not afraid to stand alone. She's not trying to be a part of any crowd, but she can be if she would choose to. She just chooses to do her own thing. This person admires you, admires that about you. They want to get like you. They want to go from the devil to the queen of wands. And they know they have to end some karmic things in their life in order to do that. Okay. Ooh, that was knight of cups. What else, Holy Spirit? Judgment. They have awakened. This person has awakened. I'm putting this on. I'm serious about this and us and order my steps. Because, baby, honey, they done made a decision here. Going to jail woke they ass up. They know who you are, good witch, okay? They know that anything they judge you for is pale in comparison to the shit that they were out here possibly participating in and doing. Solo dolo, even I'm hearing, like, this person got some skeletons in their closet. And when they went to jail, they really got to thinking about how they treated you how they may have even judged you for a habit you had, yet they got a major habit they need to clean up. This person asked God to guide them up out of that current situation. Okay, that, you know, I'm hearing drunk tank. This person may have really went to jail for a DUI. Clarify, Holy Spirit. I just king of wands. Now he realizing that he your ideal counterpart. He went to jail and had a, an epiphany, child. Now he talking about it's not as good as yours. But he married it, though. You know, we, you know, we can't act like he ain't married it and chose to stick with it. So why did he do that, Holy Spirit? Magician. He took this action for a reason. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Ten of Cups, Hangman. Pisces energy. Queen of Cups energy. Okay? I feel like this man took action to have future, a future with somebody else because he thought that was the better thing to do. He didn't realize who you were. You know, it can be just as simple as that. 1444, when I looked over, though, he realized how divine you are now. He realized that you chose him now. We have the son. He didn't have a damn epiphany. 
This masculine may have Leo somewhere prominently in his chart. You may have Leo prominent, prominently somewhere in your chart. I'm hearing as well. I'm hearing that you and this man share the Leo placement in the same part of your birth chart. I just heard. Wow. That's why y'all coming out as this king and queen of wands energy. But this man thought that if he took action with this married person, this person he married now, he felt like he was going to have a bright, happy future. He just thought that things was going to be better with them. You know, we do that. But he has, he's realized he had an epiphany, baby. I'm trying to tell you, he had an epiphany that you the son, you are his happiness. You are who can teach him how to love. You are who he needs to be serious about. He awakened real bad. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit, for my Queen of Cups? Justice. This is what is occurring now. He's definitely established some sort of connection with the divine here that he did not have when you were dealing with him consistently. This guy, this guy I was about to say this guy, this guy has changed. Okay, maybe that's the slang or lingo you may use or he used, Queen of Cups. But he's changed. He's not the same person that he was a week ago. Him going to jail woke him up. The judge might have even told him he better clean up his act. And you're over here in the sun, queen of wands. And he thought he was going to be in the magician ten of cups with another woman. But he in death with them. That's how drab, dark, dull, dead, over, finished that that connection has been. But I'm telling you, whoever this King of Wands hangman energy is, he may also have Pisces somewhere in his chart. He was only sticking in this partnership because of some type of financial codependency. But look, Ten of Wands, he didn't let that go because I'm telling you, this man didn't hit a lick. He didn't hit the lottery. He didn't got some kind of inheritance, some type of bonus opportunity, something here that has allowed him to exit out of this partnership. He might have had even been out celebrating that shit because I feel like this man was already at this point before he realized what he realized about you, Queen of Cups. Clarify hope, the star before he before he got into a alignment. He had already decided and got this blessing of some kind that allowed him to take a different action for his future. Okay? But he faced a loss seemingly immediately after. That's what I'm getting here. Something happened. I feel like this man literally probably was going out somewhere celebrating 1818 and got pulled over for drunk driving or something. Now he, he's in this energy of, I need to heal myself. I need to get right. I need to renew my beliefs. Definitely trying to get in alignment. It's something about energy here for sure with this star card. He feels like you are the person who can do that for him. Okay? Knight of Wands. Five of Pentacles. I feel like this man is facing some sort of dehabilitation. He's going to he's going to take some type of quick action towards you because he feels like you are some sort of saving grace for him. Okay? His he's trying to kick this habit of his and he feels like your energy your guidance possibly even switching to smoking chiefing a little bit instead of this other habit he had will help him i'm telling you this man is dependent on you to help him pull through what he going through right now i feel like he's going to come at you kind of quick this is going to be unexpected for you this man's insistence that you help him heal that you help him 
be a better person. That's what this teach me how to love is about. Okay. He's really going to surprise you. You may currently have your guard up to this masculine. I feel like the last time you and this masculine hung out or even tried to interact, this is how it ended up. This is the terms that you and him have been on as of late. That's why I said this action is going to seem very knight of wands to you because the last time you dealt with this person, they were in this negative energy towards you. And that could also be because of their addiction. I'm hearing that as well. Their addiction had something to do with how they treated you. Now that they're no longer participating in this addiction, they're fighting it. They're facing some type of, what do you call that? They're detoxing, but they're, they're, they're going through some major side effects and they feel like your energy can help them come up out of this. This is somebody who knows that they are going to be battling a tough time to break an addiction, but they feel like you can help them out of it. You're good witch energy. They even feel like you may have some type of techniques that you can offer them to help heal them, to help clean up their act here. Okay, this person is, is depending on a lot from you, Queen of Cups. And you know why I feel like you ain't really came out here like that? It's because this ain't, you feel, you kind of on like, this ain't my responsibility. Why this person putting all this on me? Why this person feel like just because they ask got locked up, I'm finna come to their rescue and heal them and everything is all good. They had me in the seven of wands and the nine of swords. The last time I tried to partner with them, it was the five of pentacles. Why would I put myself make myself vulnerable and put myself at risk for this person. That's what somebody's saying now. I'm telling you, I'm picking up on it, girl. I'm saying that shit too. Look what came out. <laughs> Four cups, page of wands, queen of swords. What I just said, two, 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 two. Okay. Somebody else saying that shit too. Why would I put myself out there like that? Why would I accept an offer from him now that he's shooting bad that he had to damn get into a wreck I, I look whoever this is this man had got a dui either he got into a car wreck something happened he went to jail and he had to sleep in the drunk tank he was that drunk okay and i'm telling you it also stemmed from some type of financial luck or prosperity he suddenly obtained he got the good news on, something like that. They let him know he could move on from this marriage he was in. This man was out celebrating and got fucked up now. And he, he looking for you to be his saving grace now. But I'm telling you, somebody in my Queen of Cups collective is like this. Like, hell no. Why should I come through and rescue you? Okay when you cut me down why should i accept this good news from you now when reality is you just shooting bad you this man got he got court cases coming up he probably i know he ain't got no license that shit then got it suspended immediately when he got that charge from what i'm picking up on you know things are having to change in his lifestyle very drastically the world Okay, so what he was out here doing before, he can't do that shit no more, no way. So, of course, his lifestyle is going to change either way. He just, he just wants to include you in his lifestyle change now that he's had this tragedy, this loss, and an epiphany. So, it's up to you to decide, you know, if that's good enough for you. If that's a good enough reason for you to take this man back and help heal him. Because how is this masculine going to act if this Queen of Cups energy steps up and gives him her energy and helps him get on a rightful path, Holy Spirit? Is this man going to do right by this Queen of Cups? Clarify, please, and thank you. 
Cause I don't see no love out here, child. The ooh, soon as I said that, look what came out now. So shut my mouth, the lovers. On the bottom, we do have the Empress. We do have the Ace of Wands. We do have the Temperance. And we do have the Ace of Swords. Okay? So maybe this man is trying to straighten up and fly right. Okay? Because, you know, I can be a damn skeptic sometimes. But if I'm being shown spiritually that, you know, you need to give somebody else a chance, another chance, even if you didn't get that ass five chances, you may have given this masculine five different chances to show up and partner with you in a higher vibration and he didn't do it. But it looks like he is willing to do that now, okay? You know, we ain't gonna refute the energy, baby. Lovers, the Empress, Ace of Wands, Temperance with the Ace of Swords. He definitely is trying to make a positive change in his life. He is trying to balance the scales accordingly in his life now. Between you and him most especially. I feel like this man realizes that you are his divine feminine, his twin flame. This is, a, this he, hell, he was a skeptic. Time out, I'm a skeptic. He was a skeptic. He did not believe that you and him had no divine connection. That's why y'all always remained at a low vibration. And him having an addiction didn't help either. But now this man want to get on your level. He's hoping that you will help him heal, recover. He's going to be honest about what he really been up to, how he feel, what he's been suffering with, what he's currently facing. He's also going to let you know that this marriage has ended and that he wants to invest in a commitment with you. Okay? So, I, I'm, I'm picking up this masculine might be serious now. This masculine might really have changed. You know, they be saying change is damn near impossible, but baby, I change. A lot of people have changed. 2020 on... You see, you've seen a lot of people grow and change and evolve into who they were made to be, who God always wanted them to be, created them to be. They left a lot of that bullshit behind, eight of cups. Some people, it's another wave of energies who are waking up to who they are. They're realizing that it's time to step into my divinity, step into who God made me to be. This is what this masculine has realized here. He has, okay? I'm giving him his, his props. So, you know, the choice is yours, but just know this, I'm picking up on somebody who truly has made the change, Queen of Cups, okay? And he obviously is starting to have some sort of realization for real about who you are because look at the energy you came out here in. This man, ain't, it might not be no Ace of Cups out here for you now, but you are out here as a Queen of Wands, the Sun, Queen of Swords, the Lovers, the Empress, Ace of Wands with the Temperance, and the Ace of Swords. The Star, he want to give you a Page of Cups. You know, you got to start somewhere. Okay, so... Don't knock it till you try it. Six of Wands, because you and this masculine can have a victory, okay? And I'm dropping the mic. This a different man here. This a different man. He went through some shit, and that shit woke his ass up now to the point where he want to reconnect with your Queen of Cups, okay? So I'm going to end it here. I hope this message helps you. I hope it gives you insight and guidance on how to move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.